Hey everyone, this is Chris and Sandy Bent with the Chris and Sandy Show. We get up close and personal with some amazing guests throughout the entertainment industry. And today, like I say on every episode, we've got a great one for you. Who would, who do we have? We have Gregory Finley with us today. He is best known for his role as Jack Pappas in the teenage drama series, The Secret Life of the American Teenager, as well as Drake in the series, Star Cross, iZombie, and Girder in The Flash. He's also in I Love Us, which is a romantic crime drama about family, internal struggle, vulnerability, tragedy, and life circumstances. And we're excited to talk to him about yes. all that and more. And more. Yes. So welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you, Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's our pleasure. Yes. So, oh, oh, God. whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. My dog is very needy right now. Sorry. I understand. <laughs> yeah. no you know, it's man. funny. We were just talking about stuff <laughs> right that before the so show. Funny. I heard You're that. like, anything can happen. Anything can happen. <laughs> she was live. sitting on the know. bed the whole time. She was just laying on the bed being a good girl. Yes. That, so as you know, it's been tough through this last 18 months for a oh, lot of yes. people. Um, how have, you know, how has COVID affected what you do? And what have you done to maneuver through this craziness? Yeah, I mean, just like everybody else, it slowed things down. I'm very, mm -hmm. fortunate. I'm not going to sit here and complain. I was able to kind of work during COVID. I had a couple, okay. you know, later on in COVID. Of course, yeah, yeah, like yeah, right. Everybody else, I was shut down. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm lucky to have a great family and, and, uh, and, you know, my pup and, and, you know, it's, it, it's been tough, you know, not being able to, to, you know, see my grandparents and, and hug the ones you love, right. just like everybody else. Um, but work-wise was okay. It slowed down for a bit, but then it picked back up. So I'm, I'm not going to complain. Yeah. That's like yeah. with us, you know, we launched our show January, 2020. So a couple months before COVID. Yeah. And I remember our plan was to do 100 interviews our first year. And oh, we, yeah. And we thought if we could do that, be a great foundation mm -hmm. for first year. And then COVID happens. Yes. It's and I'm my, like, my heart goes out to everybody. I mean, the, the restaurants and, you know, just the mom and pop places and small businesses. It's been uh, it's been a crazy year, a couple of years now. And, yes. and it's kind of been our silver lining, because like I said, the plan was 100 interviews. And because of COVID, everybody was free. So, so because of that, we did over 300 interviews last year we're over, and we're over 450 now. Yes. Congratulations. That's amazing. Well, oh, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, we, we definitely hit it hard, especially last August. I think it was our biggest month. We did 44 interviews that month. Yeah. Now, granted, I'm not repeating that. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> we, That's a very yes. good we just it's wanted to make a bang for the first year. year and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you got a lot to live up to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, you know, a lot of people would ask, when did you know you wanted to act? But I always like to go deeper than that. When did it click that this could be a career for you? Uh, that's a very, very long story. So I won't get into <laughs> that specifics. But, um, you know, <laughs> I, I, I got real ill in 2004 and went through some things and, and, and did the typical, you know, drove out to L.A. Started mm -hmm. Oh, well. The that in my car thing and and things like that and then i booked um you know a few years after that i booked a, a guest star in cold case and that got me into the uh into the union i was so nervous and uh, i was doing my first scene ever with danny pino <laughs> danny pino and he just said do your thing man relax and it was the scene is uh, my character gets arrested and he's walking me into the, the precinct ah, and yeah. uh and it was just in that moment where they yelled action and just that high that I got because I was so inexperienced. I didn't know. What yeah. I was, yeah. I still don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> and that's when it kind of clicked that moment. It just clicked like getting lost in that in that in those moments in those scenes is was like, I, I think I can do this. Wow. And, and, you know, I get where you're coming from, because I, I remember our very first episode, January 3rd, we had two guests that day. We learned a lot since then because we don't do two in one episode no, I and mean, no, just one per episode makes that. it smarter mm -hmm. i think um but i remember getting you know going through that i was nervous beforehand and i'm always nervous anyway before each episode i want it to go good and yes. there's a lot of things you don't have control over like we talked about you know of technology yeah but you know i remember going through that first interview and at the end i told sandy i was like this is it this is what we've been waiting on right. yeah <laughs> i it's, just it's knew you can find your passion and be able to do what you love to do for a living. It's, it's a blessing. 
It'd be great when it becomes a living. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That'd be even better. You know, yeah. But you know what? Side hustle, whatever we're doing, whatever it's, whatever it's working. Mm -hmm. It's growing. We got people like you coming on. So we can't mm -hmm. complain. No, yeah, not at all. Friendly. I'm sure you're going to go far. So keep it up. We appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. So um, what are some hobbies you'd like to do outside of acting? Um, gosh, you know, I got a new house. So, you know, my Nana always says when you wake up in the morning, the house is what can you do for me? So, I've been, you know, during <laughs> COVID and putting around the house, uh, you know, I, I like to lift. I like to work out um, basketball. I'm a big movie nerd. I love I watch, you know, documentaries, movies every night just normal you know i'm not that exciting nothing crazy <laughs> so this normal, the normal stuff everybody does likes. watching a lot of movies help you with your roles i think so it, it inspires me you know yeah. when you watch you know something that inspires you and you learn and sometimes it discourages you you watch <laughs> like joaquin and the joker and you're like oh shit i, I should just quit right now <laughs> <laughs> you know but uh yeah it, again, it's the escapism. We're all yeah, yeah. So, what's been your hardest role to play? And when I say hardest, it doesn't necessarily mean the hardest, but maybe mo most mentally challenged. But you know, somewhere yeah. in that. You know, I just I, I just did a movie. Uh, it's actually it's coming out um, October twenty second. It's got it's called The Estate. Oh wow! Ah. That was a pretty crazy role. Um, challenging emotionally and and just getting to a point it was a very dark turn my character takes and that's always uh to snap out of that is very difficult um, um yeah. so i would say that is probably definitely but those are the most rewarding as well as far as mm -hmm. you know growing because we've heard a lot of actors say the same thing too that those dark roles you, you got to become that role yeah, yeah I mean, get into into that kind Stay ahead, oh no problem no, i was just saying like anything i mean it's the dark roles but you know it's also you know whether it's comedy or or, or drama anything you just have to go all in and there's no kind of half-assing it or it'll just come off. <laughs> so it's very challenging to do the hard things and you kind of almost want to you know you, you get in your head a little bit but at the end of the day you just have to go all in and when you're going in all into a dark place yeah it's weird how do you prepare for roles like that? What's kind of what you get you in that mode? I like music. I do listen to music. Um, <laughs> you know, whether it's especially for for more sad things. Yeah, um, yeah. music really helps me out. Uh, and then you just kind of, as Jack Nicholson, I think, was quoted one time, you just grip it and rip it. You just you just prepare and 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 know the character and. You know, you try to just get lost and feed off the other person. Let's flip the script and go the other way. What's been most fun for you? Man, I, so uh, the movie I, I um, the movie that I developed, I tried to get it made for like 14 years. It's called Down East. Uh, just wow. Earlier this year, just a couple months ago. We got to shoot that in my hometown. Huh. Uh, and that was really rewarding and fun. And the crew was so great and the cast was awesome. And, you know, just being able to shoot it in my, my house, you know, we shot in my basement, we shot at my dad's office, <laughs> you know, my brother's a, a police officer there. So he helped us out greatly with locations. And, you know, it was just good to be able to show my hometown uh, on the big screen. That was definitely the most fun and rewarding so far. I love that. So as you know, a lot of people, they see the glory of your big um, actors, actresses, artists and all that. But they don't see the grind, the sacrifice, the tears, the struggles it takes, not just to get to their level, but even a career level within entertainment. And I always want to talk about that side of it, because, as you know, it's kind of glossed over in, in the arena. Oh, if you got talent, you can make it. But we both know that's not true because it takes talent, takes a lot of work and a little bit of luck. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of luck. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm never one of those guys. Well, yeah, it's very hard when you're when you're first starting out. It, you know, it's a catch 22. How do you get an agent or you got to show them some some of your work? How do you get work <laughs> without an agent? And there was some very lean years. And like everyone I had, I had those like everyone else. And it's always a constant struggle. But um, yeah, you know, but what we do, I'm never one to say, you know, it's such a crazy, you know, 
hard work special thing because you know you have police officers and nurses and people doing real jobs and you know trying to cure cancer and stuff but it is difficult when you're starting out i will say that because again you know that, I, I always want to talk about that because I think people, when they see a lot of times they look at the TV and they see actors and reality stars and all that. Oh, yes. and, they're, and the first thing that comes up, what I've seen out there is, well, they, their work is easy. They, yeah. you know, and it's not that the talent may come naturally to you, but the work is not easy. No, you have to prepare and, and, you know, physically demanding roles are, are, are challenging. Uh, I've done those, uh, you know, being away from family and friends and, and yeah, the, but dude, we're, we're friggin' making movies. So I'm, I'm not going to sit here, <laughs> you know, it's just, we're playing pretend and, and, and I, you take it very seriously and you prepare, but at the end of the day, we're not in the coal mines, you know, gosh, <laughs> your dog. Yes, <laughs> yes we saw it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> he, he's I'm like, I am, he's, he's like, like, I'm, I'm going to be part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi. Hey there, little dog. Oh. <laughs> He's a good dog. He's going to go out now. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a big old doggy. Yeah, it is. You think she's a big dog. <laughs> so now let's go the other way. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked a little bit about the sacrifice, the struggle side. Let's yes. uh, flip the script and talk about the glory side. What are some moments where you're like, wow, that happened? Or wow, I got to do that? Um, God, the glory. Um. I don't know. I don't know if I've had that much glory. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it is really nice when when um, you get a free meal. No, I'm joking. Uh, it, 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 it's cool when people genuinely come up to you and say they enjoy your work because yeah. it's kind of, uh, you know, you always, in a way, I think a lot of actors uh, maybe feel like an outsider in the business, and and you know, I, you know, I don't live in Hollywood, so I always kind of. So when people come come up to me and say they dug something I, I did, it really it feels good. And and that's kind of rewarding because you do put work into it and you know you, you never know if it's gonna hit or, or what have you and, and that's rewarding. So tell us a little bit about the new show I Love Us. I Love Us. It's a crime drama <laughs> uh, starring Danny A, um, Katie Cassidy. Um, and it's just it's it's a great film in the sense it has everything it it, it has the backdrop of, of a heist movie which is like one of the <laughs> type of movies i love heist movies. those always do good oh yes those are fun yeah. yeah and and the crime and that is kind of just the shell but inside it it really is like almost a family drama and that's i i think that's what really hit people it has a lot of laughs um it has everything in it and it really moves quick. You know, it's a quick watch and it just, uh, I think Danny did a hell of a job on it. And what I like about shows and movies like that is you got, um, you know, a lot of times people can get in their judgmental roles in life mm -hmm. and they forget that other people, even if they don't do it, if, even if their lifestyle is different than theirs are human, just like I am. Yes. Just like they are. And so I like, shows that can humanize people, even if it's in a negative way a little bit, <laughs> you know, but they humanize the actors and all that and say, look, you know, they are still human. They still have all the feelings that we all have. Yeah. Well, that's why I think people still go to movies and still watch the stuff is in some certain way they're relating to it. Yeah. Um, I think if you couldn't relate to anything, I think people wouldn't watch it. I think they would that's just true. kind of like, you know, yeah maybe exactly. some of the reality stuff they're kind of just turning <laughs> out maybe yeah but then again the escapism there you go yeah the reality That's stuff it. you watch to see what disaster is happening now oh, yes, you, go. you do yeah. <laughs> like you said escape. Goalie, i'm not that crazy she's really or he's really crazy yeah 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 and, and you know what's funny i was just commenting the other day on facebook and i was like you know how where social media has come and gone um, you know, it used to be you get on social media to escape the world. Now yeah. you go into the world to escape social media. It's wild. It's a yeah. wild <laughs> world we're living in with that stuff. Holy moly. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I'm not the best with social media. I'm trying to do more. It, it uh, but yeah, it's, 
I just miss, I just miss that generation, you know. I kind of <laughs> like I didn't grow up with a cell phone, so. Oh wow! But when people yeah. start, we. like the kids on their phones all day, I mean, what the heck? That's all they know. You know? That's and, true. That's and Caleb's true. asking you about your experience with the Secret Life. Oh yeah, thank you for watching that. Yeah, it was fun. It was my first uh, regular gig, and uh, you know I got some lifelong friends out of it. Um, you know, got to have some money in my pocket, and and it taught me a lot. It was it was uh, it was a big uh, it was a big break. You know, it it got me out of you know living in dumps and uh, <laughs> yeah I, I i really appreciate every every day on that show so how'd you get that role i just auditioned i uh you know it's funny i have to thank my mother because uh i was up for a basketball movie mm -hmm. uh, back mm -hmm. in the day and i really wanted it i really really wanted it and i had a call back for that and then i had a call back for for secret life and i had uh, been going out for a lot of like teen dramas yeah i was getting like oh he's a little bit old you know he's, <laughs> he's a little intense looking he's got the scar we don't know oh, you know? wow and then i'm like mom i don't want to go the basketball was uh, audition was in santa monica so if you know la and then the the secret life audition was in burbank so you know with traffic that can be hours i'm mm -hmm. like i'm just going to put the secret life audition off and then just really focus on this basketball oh one, wow for sure mm -hmm. i end up going to both <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously didn't get the basketball one, but got five seasons of uh, television. And that's, wow. that's like very rare, you know, so. And that's what yes. you really want as an actor, because again, like you said, you know, you have a lot of lean months and years at the beginning. Yes. And, you know, and even if you have a good movie that comes out, it, it, you're only paid, but so much, but where you got a TV show. Oh yeah. Last for yes, seasons. Oh yeah. Well, now oh, you yeah. got that steady income. I had an actor buddy. He had um, he was doing a bunch of cool indies, and I was on Secret Life. And I, was like, <laughs> I, I, I envy your, your career so much, and he's like, "Dude, I envy yours." And I'm like, I, I and, and I just did a few indies. And let's just say, yeah, TV's good. <laughs> you know, TV, yeah. TV, TV's good, but you know. Uh, another actor said sometimes it can be the golden handcuffs when you're on a show for a long That's time. That's true. Oh, paid, right, yes. The artistic juices aren't flowing. Uh, like, can you people. imagine being Steve Urkel? I don't know if I can imagine being Steve Urkel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, yeah. roles yeah. like break, that. Breaking out of that, yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, you, you see them when, when you read, when you um, end up reading the bios of, of people or hearing their stories on TV and, and they talk about, the, they got into that role and America yes. loved them as that yes, role. Yes, but they get labeled. And they labeled as yeah. that role. And oh, man, <laughs> Steve Urkel, he, he's, a, he's a legend. He and a lot of people can say that. And Stefan is true. the alter ego Stefan. Oh, yes, yeah. Stefan. Stefan, yes. I wonder if they created Stefan to try to help him get out of that role a little bit. Yeah. Maybe. He, I think he's done well. He, he's doing well. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. But I like to use him as an example because, again, he was one of them that, you know, you knew who, if you said Urkel back in our day. Oh, yes. Yeah, you knew. Who was. Who. <laughs> he must have been, he, 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 you know, like every, like I was saying, he went for that. He went for that character. He went all in and, and you know, mm -hmm. real. He, he, did, he did his thing with that. Absolutely. So on your shows and movies that you do, um, how, how much do, do you have a little bit of leadway where they may have a scene written one, one way? Do they ever give you like points where you can ad lib a little bit just to see if something can be changed? Yeah, def definitely. Depending on the director um, and, you know, whether it's a studio or, or if it's, you know, definitely more uh, leniency with film. And especially yeah. independent film, and that's where the joy comes from. I mean, oh wow, oh yeah. The actor will tell you that's where the magic happens when you're kind of just riffing and and those moments, and definitely more so on the film, I would say. Because then all of a sudden you say something, and then the director can say, "Ooh, that's good." Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a collaborative thing. You have to listen to him or her, and uh, and vice versa for sure. And that's a perfect leeway to my next little segment because yes. I'm about collaboration. As you know, a lot of people, they see you as the actor, but they don't see the teams behind the actors and artists and all that. In our opinion, the teams never get the love they deserve. Yes. On our show, they do. So if you want to take a few moments just to tell us about the team that helped you be who you are. 
Yeah, I have a great uh, agent, Mike Stout, and uh, I have a great manager, uh, Greg Wapnick, and, uh, you know, my my fiance helps me out. You know, it's a it's a my, gotta love that. My actor friends, my family. I mean, that's my team, really. The people that have, um, you know, been with me from the jump and are with me on the slow years, are with me on the on the great years, and that's really my team. I would say, uh, and then Eva over there. <laughs> oh yeah, who loves to get in the picture? Oh, yeah, she helps a lot. She's a <laughs> dog lover will tell you. Oh my gosh! You know, speaking of teams, we have a third co-host, our little nine-year-old yes, we that we met. Come on, ask a couple of questions. So Sandy's gonna go get him. I'll get him. And we've got a two and a half-year-old daughter that, when she gets older, she'll be plugged in the show too because we are oh, a family affair show. Very cool. We'll try to make it evenly where well, it won't be evenly, but you know where she may have a question, he does yeah. two or something. You know, as she gets older, because you know we. You know, when I, we started this show, I wanted it to always be family oriented. It doesn't necessarily mean the guest has to be that because, again, yeah. we bring on guests of all walks of life. So of what's up? Hi, Greg. So what's your favorite food? What's my favorite food? Pizza. Ooh. No doubt about it. <laughs> what's what's your, your favorite food? Pizza. Yep. There you go. Right. <laughs> He'd eat it all day long. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so what's your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show all time, which you can't watch yet, but maybe you will be able to watch one day, is Sopranos. Mm. Ah, yeah. Favorite TV show, yeah. And what's yours? SpongeBob. SpongeBob, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> yes. And it's been great being to bring actors like yourself and other shows because we he watches a lot of Disney and Nickelodeon shows yeah. now. So we've been to bring a lot of actors from those shows onto our show for him to talk oh. to. He probably gets a kick. That's so cool. You get to meet some cool people, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah, like um, one of his fav one of his faves was um the actress that plays Destiny on the show Bunked. Okay, I haven't heard of that one. My niece might watch that though. Probably does. It's okay. really good. It's funny. It's funny. Sometimes you know Disney and Nickelodeon they have the shows where you're watching it with your with him, and then he gets up and, and Sandy and I are still watching it. Like, oh, he's not even watching it no more. Two hours later, you're like, what am I doing? <laughs> and you catch yourself yeah. into it and the like the Disney movies. A lot of the Disney movies do that, you know? Yep. Exactly. Nick. Cool, man. So what's it very movie? My favorite movie. That's that's very hard for me to say. <laughs> I've watched a lot. So since this uh th since this interview is about I Love Us, I'll say I Love Us is my favorite movie. Good, good yeah. answer, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> So uh, mine is the Minions movie. Oh, the Minions are funny. That's yes. a good one. Especially yeah. Despicable Me Too. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite's are Despicable Me Too. Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite. And, and what's funny is I remember um, she, our little two and a half year old, she's out of this phase now, but she used to be in a phase where, you know, in Despicable Me Too, where they would turn purple and they go, Pfft. It would, it, when they make noises and the only and as you know in that show there's only a small portion of it but she picked up on that so every time she would see a minion somewhere she'd point and go Pfft. oh that's cute <laughs> it was that fun. She, i'm like i wish that face would still be here because it's gone now she don't do that she yeah. still smiles and points at them but she laughs. don't do that no more yeah. and she'll laugh at them and all that that's cute bye thanks all right buddy nice talking to you man <laughs> Yeah, he loves being on the show. He's been on almost every episode. Good for you guys. Pretty neat. So um, if you could co-star with any actor or actress, who would it be and what role would you want to play? Man, that's, gosh, that could be a very long list. <laughs> <laughs> Dead or alive? Either one. Yeah, Either probably one. one of each. One of each if you want. Yeah. Bring somebody back. <laughs> You know, I was a big Heath fan. Mm -hmm. I thought Heath was good. It, he did amazing things. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. He was on his way to just, I mean, he didn't miss. I would have loved to have done something with him. Wow. Um, it's hard not to want to say, like, uh, De Niro. Oh, yeah. yeah. And um, Leo. I'm a huge Leo fan. Oh, yes. Yeah. There's a lot. Bring Brando back. Ah, uh, yeah, that'd be good. Another great one. Yeah, yeah. The I mean, I could go all day with that one. 
Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what's now that you, you could probably go idea with this next question too, but just kind of think of the first thing that pops in your head, but what's a show or movie that you've seen that you wish you had a role in? A lot of them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God, which movie have I seen that I wish I had a role in? Um, Cause who knows this question might get somebody a role one day, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> gosh. You know what I haven't done? I'm just thinking of things I haven't done. Like, some, yeah, like some kind of I haven't done a lot of things, but uh, like, a, <laughs> like, a, like a, an epic, like kind of like a medieval type movie, uh, like the new one with Matt Damon and uh, and Ben Affleck, like something like when you're riding a horse, like some some Braveheart type thing, like oh well, uh, yeah. swords, you know, that would be fun to do. You know, uh, I haven't done anything like that. Oh, wow. You know, back in 2015, we interviewed Kelsey Ballerini before she was Kelsey, as they say. And one of the questions I asked her was where she want to be in five years. And I always like to tell this story before I ask the guests that same question, because the answer she gave us is almost to the T of the life she's living now. I mean, she wow. knew where she was going. And five years later, she's living exactly what she told us. So knowing that, where do you want to be in five years? Five years? Um... You know, I, I never really, I, I don't really think about that too much. I want to be healthy. I want to be working, <laughs> be able to support my family. And um, I just want to be in the same position I am, but better. Wow. Uh, you got to love that answer. It's raw and it's real. Yeah. I'm not too greedy. Yeah. <clears throat> because you're, you're happy where you are and that's good. I'm happy where I am, I, I, but I do want to keep pushing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so let's look deeper down the road. Let's say 15, 20 years down the road. You're a success on a grand scale. Whatever that looks like for you, you are there. Okay. If the person you are today could meet him, your future successful self, yeah. what would you want to remind him? Um, I would remind him that, uh, hey, we're the same person. So can I have a couple grand? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, just remind him to know what's important, um, you know, to, to, you know, talk to your loved ones every day and, or try to, and just mm -hmm. take everything mm -hmm. for granted or don't take anything for granted. Yeah. You know? Right. And, um, and just, and just, just always remember to be happy and try to be happy because all that success and everything is, is. Mm -hmm honestly just material you know it's it's really mm -hmm. just accolades because they can go away like that go away like that yeah. and you know if you're not loved and you don't love then that just sucks everything else is whatever i mean ask him to see hammer he went from yeah. the biggest person out there yeah. in his time to bankrupt wow i mean yeah. i think he was worth 70 million dollars gotta get an accountant <laughs> I think it was worth like $70 million when the downfall happened. It's insane. And, and then, you know, and, and, and he's, he's a great guy. I think he's even a pastor now or something like wow. that. Or he was for many years. Oh, I don't yes, know if he still is right. now. I haven't really kept up with him, but for a while, but from what I understand, you know, that, you know, he tried to keep everybody on the payroll. Yeah. And you just can't do that can't when things are flatlining. That, yeah. yeah. It's hard to say no sometimes people yeah people that need help and you gotta learn to say no <laughs> yes. sometimes you know exactly. he, he, was, he was probably saying yes a lot and that it's probably because he had a big heart you know mm -hmm. exactly you know sometimes the biggest hearts are the biggest downfalls yeah i i know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right and what would you like for your legacy to be what would you like to be known and remembered for um just being a real one, just a, a real, uh, you know, just a good person and, and just someone who was uh, just real. Because in this business, it's a lot of fake. And yeah. uh, that's what I'd like to be, is just known as a real, a real dude. Real awesome. Guy. Yeah. And if you could say anything to your fans and followers, what would you want to tell them? I would say them to them, thank you very much, because without you guys, no actor or nobody would be doing what they're doing and and i appreciate every single one of you and let's keep it rolling because we got a lot of good stuff ahead of us <laughs> that sounds Love awesome that. Yeah. so let's say you had a friend of yours and you heard him or her 
I mean, and you watch them act and they got something special They're, You know, they've done maybe a couple small roles, but they feel that they're called to this. They know that they're supposed to do this. What advice would you give that specific person to kind of help guide them in this crazy business for the next few years? I, I always tell people two things. Um, well, the biggest thing is you have to really want to do it because the BS is so <laughs> and uh, it, it never stops. And even when you book, you know, certain things here and there, you always want more. Um, so you really got to want to do it or just don't do it. And, um, and just show up on time and be well prepared and, that's, and let the chips fall. So as we start to close out, tell us a story. Um, it could be an embarrassing story or what, but the, of you, of an audition that happened. Because everybody has at least that one story. Oh, a crazy <laughs> story. I had to sing in an audition <laughs> early on. Oh, oh my uh -huh. God. And I can't sing. And, and, <laughs> oh, wow. And I, and I just went for it. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Right? But gosh, I, let's just say I didn't get it. And um, it was some Tim McGraw song. Uh, yeah, and, and it was to play like a country singer guy, and uh, it was it was brutal. It was so mm. brutal, and wow. I, 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 wow. I'm getting those like secondhand embarrassed feelings just thinking about it right now. <laughs> very uncomfortable. Wow, that was the worst experience. Oh my gosh. Wow, and you know I like to have people say that say that one experience that they look back on because I think it helps other people say, look, you're real just like I am. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I shouldn't have been there. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody should have told you different, right? Somebody should have told me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot like when you watch American Idol back in the day and, and, and you know, oh, before yes. si when Simon ago. says, Oh yeah. Do you have any fr real friends? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, obviously I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. So as we close out, what is next for you? Um, I love us and, uh, that's, uh, in, in, uh, VOD and streaming everywhere right now. And then the estate, uh, it is my craziest role yet. Uh, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It comes out October 22nd. Okay. Uh, be on the lookout for that. You can still, um, stream my movie down East that I developed in my hometown. That's everywhere. Amazon, iTunes, um, VOD. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'm developing uh, a film right now called Black Friday. So we're trying to get that going. Awesome. So okay. tell everybody how they can find you. You can find me. I'm not giving them my address. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That um, too far. Instagram, uh, Greg Finley official, because Greg Finley was taken. I know that sounds douchey, but uh, <laughs> Greg Finley official is my Instagram. Awesome. I love that. You know, we really enjoyed having the show did. today. And we look forward to having you back for some updates down the road. I would love that. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. Great. You have a great Thanks day. Thanks so much for your All time. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. -bye. Bye.